I'm getting help from an experienced um, local designer kind of building orchard slash food forest my direction first we're gonna start with some fruit trees but we're also gonna be putting in some herbal trees I believe moringa um, I've relocated the birds they'll be going into that garage where we've kind of built a chicken coop that contraption over there you see I was supposed to turn that into a chicken tractor but then I realized the the soil is bone dry burnt away some of the weeds and uh, we're going to start with I would say so the food forest is beginning to start off as an orchard and this is the first plot of that orchard we have the first row six trees of pomegranate six trees of papaya trees here we have this is going to be the most beautiful one out of all of them I believe and this is passion fruit starting from a young plant that I got from my friend And this will grow into a vine right in front of the porch and on the other side simultaneously growing we have another passion fruit so they will meet somewhere in the middle So my friend who helped me design, well he mostly advised me to design it this way because he's done it several other uh, locations and he has had a lot of success. Yeah. Ah. So the plan is for them in the future to meet somewhere in the middle on a on a vine that will cover the entire front porch that will bring extra shade to kind of sit sit in the middle and looking at the sunset over there I've decided to keep this um, center plot empty for the meantime and my friend who I will introduce at a later date he's the one that actually saved me from a ridiculous plan where I was planning on digging a two to three meter pond to do some rainwater harvesting this is when I first moved in and my first day of clearing out the weed that used to occupy this area I, this is what I planted and that is a tomato a tomato plant that is already beginning to flower and I did not know but 
subsequently there was also a watermelon seed in that pot that's what I like to do just bunch of throw a whole bunch of seed to see which one pops up that's pretty much my motto here we have another tree coming in at a later date so the hole is already dug actually let me just show you how the soil consists of so that you can see for yourself the sandy soil is pretty much full of rocks as you can see the, the roots of the tomato so my friend knows the terrain and the landscape much better than I do so instead of killing myself over a three foot or three meter pond and wasting my time and money he advised me heavily on designing and beginning the food forest with a small orchard and basically showed me how to plant trees which is take about a meter then uh, the soil that you take out that's this soil right here pretty much lifeless mix it with some goat manure that I have over there mix the two soils put them back in let some water seep over it let it sit for about two days and then plant the young plants so I believe he has spared my tomato and my watermelon and they will turn into companion plants I believe so over here pretty much this used to be my old fire pit where I would burn old and deadless branches as you can see the smoke and he turned that into another hole for a future tree once again I think this is another papaya tree maybe something else I'm hoping for a lemon tree These uh, beautiful vines, flowers were already here. I just basically give them a little uplift and uh, took care of them, cleaned out the garbage. Well, not really garbage. They were full of weed. They weren't really growing properly because they were being smothered and all the nutrients and water was being stolen by the these type of weeds which on my app says it's some type of hmm, let me smell it again yeah some type of rosemary some type of invasive rosemary I don't think anybody cooks, cooks with rosemary here especially the wild kind so it's not really no need for it but as you can see I cleared out most of the weeds I dumped some biochar not the activated one but just mostly so that the earth the soil could <coughs> excuse me so that the <coughs> so that the soil could absorb more water and I had to literally pull the weeds out one by one because they were so stubborn and my god look at these look at these whatever they may be for 
papaya tree, a young papaya tree, another papaya tree, and for my chickens, we built this chicken coop. Oh, well, not a chicken, chicken hen house. Yeah, let's just call it hen house because I got rid of the cock. And uh, today I put this sheet on it for shade because once it turns about 3 p.m. it gets super hot in here let me switch up the light made a make makeshift door out of the chicken wire This is the chicken tractor that I was originally was going to use to fertilize the lawn or the front yard. And now it's a chicken coop. Because as you can see, I have the roosting bar that I made out of a branch, just a regular branch. I'm going to leave the roof open. There I just put cardboard boxes because I'm not done with the bottom yet. The bottom I'm going to be opening it up and putting up uh, stairs for the chickens, for my hens. It's a big space for only three hens and I don't expect having more than that. So let me lock up the makeshift door. Very simple very practical and functional that's all we need you don't need to spend money you don't have for the maintenance of your daily protein I put an extra cardboard here because it get it gets very dusty in the city as you can see the Sun is going down this house belongs to my auntie. I'm very grateful that she allows me to live here for the meantime, between time. Just a quick second. I gotta go lock up the chickens or the hens. My ladies. What I like about my ladies is They lock themselves up automatically. They know what time it is. Ladies, I will have a new home for you very shortly. Okay, so that's about it. As best I can describe it. I mean, look at it, man. When I first moved here, I couldn't even see the porch. The porch was just invisible. The air was just full. Also, I plan on turning this into a little mini nursery so that I can supply myself. This time, he has supplied me. But he's teaching me all the tricks of the trade. Funny thing is, After we spoke a little, he said to me, Hey man, you have all the theory and I got all the practical. We make a good team. I said, yes, we do make a good team. Let's begin our permaculture community and spread the, the joy of being self-sustainable having all different types of food in your house and even being able to sell it. So that's what I got for you now. Sun is going down. So with no further ado, I would like to introduce to all of you the true master the ghost rider, the 
the man behind the plan, the person who helped me with 90% of the design, because I was headed into a disaster. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa Oh, I know Bertan Kashakena or Ibu Bate a head or hair or Mela Lidren Schedule Gilha or good Sadahimeter Inta Rodelha or Design Ega Awine Wa Nin Beraha Megala, Ewood Dunker, Ew Dirta, Ew Dulka, Ew Wakas the City Ukras Adan Sifi and Uyakano. Or Mudu Badan Sosheke, Maka Mohammed, Walla and Miss Borikata. I know Mohammed Yusuf Smile or Kumagadir Mohammed Gai and Mudu Badan Ayan Kudachri, Beraha or Ankusoberta, Somalia, Sida Shabella Hose, Kurtuari, Yodo and Berry Durde, Muska and Kashakentri, our baggage. Practical Hassan Kusok Alani Kabadi, Wahan, Somaliland, Somaliland, Wahan, 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 بينتا أو الجدول لو سمينا يو سدح لي عشرة مالين لو رابيو أفرت عشرة مالين لو رابيو سدح لي قبوبه هكلا أفرت عشرة مالين بلا رابيو يا سدح كلا له هكلا لو بدي عشرة مالين بلا رابيو ويا محمد وما سنتي إن إن شاء الله ورأسي سفي عن أو أنا كفر السنة بسفي عن سكول السنة دونا ما أنتوا حلوينا دتك إتعوضوا إنا إن سكاي برا أو كده هو نكان أنا أمي حد عليه وانك يبل بادي قد درادي يشيك درادي بكل حجري مركا هدول إلهي هدول إيه كلهن نكان مل در أو العد فربضن يو وقت بضن بيجلو منها مركا محمد حقول إلها هدنا أجي لو ما سنت ولا لا ويبل بادي سي ويعاونتي حتى عاون ماها وإيش رح ضي أو يفهم سي سي السيستم كان سيدو أسرع ضي يسيدو أقوب ضن أقوب فائدة سير كرتيد أقولي جاجا حتى قدرة كهل كرتيد أو جكذا سوق وحاول أقوب هنانين حتى فروت أو ملكة كوبين كهل كرتيد مكا إنا لوك جاجا نمع كذي كرتي. وحكلاص بحذو. وحكلاص بحذو. آه. وحتى في قد هداربت. آه. حتى سدا لو دق عليه أو سدا لو غش خير. مركا واحد بضم بيبرتي. دول ك درتها بيها. مركا وحكول لها ولا أدي لو ما حصلت. أدي أطباس. وياه. وياه. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله.